and welcome. This is Kara, and I <laughs> have been playing with my scraps. So the five days of fall is over. I've been working on my journal, and it's pretty much ready. I just decided, okay, I'm going to take all of the scraps from the five days of fall, um, and plus a couple other like pieces of cardstock and stuff, that I had on my desk and I'm gonna see what I can make. Well, I have a heap, <laughs> as you can see here. Um, I love to do this when I set aside the time to do it. Um, unfortunately, more often than not, I just kind of put my scraps aside or throw some away or toss them in a bin and then um, rarely get back to them. But when I set some, some time aside, I really enjoy doing this. And now look at all of these things that I have either to toss in this journal or other fall journals or, um, yeah, a lot of them will be able to be used with all sorts of journals. All right, so <laughs> let's just take a quick look and um, let me show you. Oh, I don't know where to put this. A lot of these ideas I um, took from Corey Dahum Day. I'm not sure how you say her name, but the gal that does all the scrap buster stuff. I will link her um, channel below. She has tons of great ideas, one of which I love, <laughs> but this might drive you crazy if you're like, oh my gosh, I can't keep any more scraps. But when you do cutoffs and you keep the little bits, um, she just glues them together and then she will run um, a stitch through it, which I might go and sew down the middle later. And then you can add this to the side of, here's my fall journal. And I'm going to do a flip through, a full flip through tomorrow. I just want to make sure I have everything done. But you can add it to the side and have a fun embellishment like that. And go on the top. It, there's all sorts of fun... Um, things you can do with them. And then I made a ton of the die cuts, so I went ahead and um, added those. I just wanna make sure I'm in frame. All right. And then Itty Bitty Embellishments is also her idea. And again, you can just put this on a page um, as like a fun little embellishment. All right, so I have a bunch of those. And then I also made a bunch of journaling cards. I was using this in my my five days of fall journal, scrapbook paper, and then I also have some craft start cardstock, and then I just layered up some of the, um, you know, little pieces I have. These are from the August, um, what is it called? Your Creative Studio Box. So I put those in there. Here are some pieces left over from the five days of fall from Julia My Kit, and I just put it on a scrap piece of, what is that? coffee dyed paper. So yeah, I have a bunch of journaling cards. Same thing. Scraps of fabric. Did some stitching on some, but not on others. There's another one I just layered up some fabric, and then this one I rounded the edges. This is another thing that she likes to do with those little bits of strips. She'll line them up and then put a die cut over them. I just think that is so fun. Here's another one. I'm gonna get to my head, I'm organized. There's another one with the craft. So yeah, like I said, some of them I stitched and some I didn't. Here's more of my itty bitties. So even just the smallest of scraps. Like this one, it could go in all kinds of journals. Autumn, this one might be just, you know, for autumn. And my little acorn from the die cuts. And then I had some scraps of this paper and I made a tag with the die cuts. And then this is a um, hidden paper clip. Oops, like that. Then I did, I decorated both sides. So yeah, I just have bunches <laughs> and bunches. I just sat turned on some Netflix and went to town. And then <laughs> you just need to, you know, when, when am I done? <laughs> right? When, when am I going to be done? Oh, this one's a bit different. This one is an envelope that I did spray stain. It's actually the new Distress Mica Stain from Tim Holtz. And I 
put it in my splatter box because I have a couple of these in my journal, a sticker, and then I made a tag. So this is just something I can toss in a journal. Ah, my pieces are falling. Here's some more little guys. There's another itty bitty scrap. And there's lots of little guys. I just think these are so cute. They're so cute. And then if you didn't want to put them on a page, maybe let's pretend this is like a tag. You could just easily add this to a tag and then you already have your embellishments. I just think that's so clever. That was a Cory idea too. Here's another one. This one I did some stitching with um, some fabric. This one, another little guy with fabric. This one, this one I'm gonna run through my sewing machine. And then I made this one of just a different looking journaling card with only two of the rounded edges. And then I also made, using some white cardstock, trimmed them down and I made it a pocket. So I could tuck some other journaling cards or itty bits, you know, in here and then use those in my journal. Also, friend mail would be awesome. Here's another one with just the strips. I just love that look. I love it. Here's another one with a little pocket. I made lots of pockets. That one and that one. And this one is a pocket with more of a back. So yeah, lots of stuff. And then this, let me show you the top of my box here. This is pretty much all I have left. I um, punched some tags with my punch. I still have all of these flowers. Um, yeah, I just have a few more pieces and I, oh, and here I guess I have these two. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my five days and I made a bunch of things. <laughs> all right, that's really all I wanted to show you. I'm gonna do a flip through once I get some other things tucked into my journal. I'll do that tomorrow. Hope you come back. Uh, for the flip through and have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye-bye.